take a look at this question how do you know um, this function is homogeneous so what you do is first of all what is uh, degree of homogeneity so what we are doing is we are multiplying this expression there are different methods but this is the easiest one by lambda so let's just um, use lambda because that's what is generally used by a certain power lambda to a certain power so anytime you multiply lambda key by this expression here by any expression and you factorize and work things out and you are getting lambda key and you are getting this same thing back that function is homogeneous you get that's why and to the degree whatever so let me let's solve this so we can find out how to do that and um, just follow my step so how do you know this um, if you're given a question like this how do you know this um, equation this function is homogeneous all you need to do is this side of the equation this side the independent side this side like this this whole side we are multiplying it by lambda k so when we multiply all the variables by k we factorize we work things out and we still get lambda k and this same thing inside like this we still get this same expression inside then that function is homogeneous so let me take that again whenever we multiply lambda by every single variable inside work things out factorize and we get lambda to a certain power let's say k multiplied by this same thing again like this same thing is repeating itself but this time it's just multiplying with lambda k then we see the function is homogeneous clear so now let's go ahead and do that so it makes more sense so multiply every single thing by lambda so that will be lambda multiplied by x right x all square indices plus three bring out this three outside because what we are doing is multiplying the variable not the constant so three lambda x what what's the power all square now um the power rule of indices that will be lambda 2x2 plus the 3 was outside lambda 2x2 like this so now all we need to do is just factor out lambda so lambda 2 lambda 2 is common so we have lambda 2 outside factorize that will be x2 plus 3x squared do you notice something now we when when i multiplied everything by lambda all the variables inside and use my indices and i factorize the um, lambda outside because two and two is common i'm getting the same thing back so lambda two lambda um square to the this is square multiplied by this so i'm getting the same equation back so i can as well just change this to y x squared plus 3 uh, is equal to y see so i'm getting this same thing back so therefore the um this function is homogeneous to the second power or to the um, um to the degree 2 so that means k is equal to 2 k can be 1 k can be minus 1 k can be anything as long as we factorize out and we're still getting the same thing back then that function is homogeneous what if we have this case now like i said to test if or to prove that this uh, function is homogeneous the easiest way all you need to do is multiply everything all the variables inside not the constant the variables by lambda k so just multiply it by lambda and then when i mean lambda k it can be two three to carry the power of the um, variable there so let's do it together multiply the first one that will be lambda x all square to carry the square plus bring the variable outside three always bring out the variable that doesn't consign us so multiply lambda x all raised to power four and now just use the power um, power rule of indices lambda 2 x 2 plus x2 plus 3 was outside so lambda 4 x 4 so now when we try to factorize this um what's common lambda 2 is common don't touch the rest just factorize any lambda lambda 2 is common so we have x squared plus 3 
lambda 2x4 see we are stuck here but we are not getting back the same see there's this lambda 2 here if only this lambda 2 wasn't here then we'll get back the same expression without um, disrupting or irritating the function so if we continue like this the function is only going to get irritated and we'll mess things up so we are stuck here we're not getting the same thing back so therefore this function is not homogeneous as you can see so now let's go ahead to solve this one very easy like i said to prove that this function is homogeneous all we need to do is multiply the variables by lambda and just work things out and then prove that it is homogeneous so let's go ahead and do that together now let's start with the first one multiply they haven't separated it so this is x1 comma x2 they haven't separated it for us, so it's even easier so this is x1 here and it will take the power like we discussed comma separated it for us which is even better multiply again by lambda x2 and it will take the power you can see the procedure and all you need to do is just indices um, lambda cube x1 cube comma lambda square x2 square so now factorize lambda out since this is uh, multiplication like everything is multiplication to factor out lambda it's not like um, plus if you say um, this plus this we will need something that is common but but for multiplication all we need to do is just bring out the lamb all the lambdas that are common in the multiplication and add them together so if we do that so factor out this we'll get lambda bring out these two lambda because it's multiplication you saw what we did for addition how we factor it we just brought it out what was common and, and the remaining what was left but for this one for multiplication we bring out the lambda and we add their power so 3 plus 2 that is 5 right so then what's left lambda x 3 comma x 2, 2 so look at this now we have gotten the original expression back see like this and we have not irritated the function in any way so this is our answer and it is homogeneous to the degree of 5 so so that's your answer and this is very correct it is homogeneous so let's try another question so look at this question now it's very easy it says y is equal to 6 x1 multiplied by x2 or you can put comma see the same thing very easy when you have multiplication it's very easy to prove their homogeneity so now let's prove that it's homogeneous so like i said multiply the lambda by all the variables inside so let's try this first one so lambda bring out the six because the six doesn't consign us it's the variable we're consigned with so bring out this six keep it somewhere just forget about it first keep it somewhere outside multiply the lambda by the x1 this is what we are consigned with the variable not the constant and the next one x2 multiply this same lambda by x2 so lambda x2 and it will carry the power so 1 power 1 and power 1 don't forget that power so now all you need to do is just distribute them product law, product rule of indices so we have 6 here lambda 1 x1 one, 1 and this one to the same thing lambda 1 x2 1 so now all we need to do is factorize since it is multiplication you can just factorize everything out and add their power so this is lambda 2 bring out lambda add it 1 plus 1 which is 2 and let's see if it gives us the original expression so that's 6 x1 x2 so you can see we have gotten back the original expression lambda degree 2 so it is k is equal to 2 so this x this um, equation now is homogeneous of the degree 2 and we know that because of this setup here don't forget that this 6 x1 x2 is the same thing as y so i can put the whole thing here as y right like this is still equal to y like 6 x1 equal to y again so if you see a setup like this don't be confused it's still the same thing very correct we can even give you extra mark for this presentation too so 
take note. So you might see a question like this to to prove that um, the function is homogeneous. So all we need to do, like I said, multiply every single variable. If there are 20 variables, multiply them by that um, lambda and then factorize. So if we do that now, bring out these two, doesn't consign us, and then um, lambda, the x1, right? All raised to power what? 0 0.7. It's going to carry that power. And then multiply by what? Lambda x2 all raised to power 0 0.3. I'm sure by now you get the concept. So all you need to do now is just distribute power rule of indices. So we now have two open bracket lambda 0 0.7 x1 0 0.7 and then this becomes um, 0 0.3 x2 0 0.3 so finally we have this and then all we need to do now is just um, factorize and we can do that way is just bring out this lambda outside and since it's multiplication we can put the multiplication sign here we can just um, add the powers so 0 0.7 like this lambda 0.7 plus 0.3 that is 1 and then we have 2 x1 0.7 x2 0.3 so now let's check is it the same with the original yes it is exactly the same so it is homogeneous to the power of the power of k like this homogeneous of the power of k which is one so they may ask you for k i'm asked to prove that it's homogeneous and they want to see your steps very easy <laughs>